Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using the new Shayla X ColourPop collection. Let me tell you, this is one of my favorite palettes. It's come out in a long time. It's so, so good. I've been using it nonstop since I got it. She came out with a full collection. There's eyeshadows. She also came out with three creamy lipsticks, a really, really beautiful lip gloss, and of course, some booming highlights. I'm absolutely in love with the collection. I'm so proud of Shayla. Of course, she is my friend and I'm always rooting for her. I know what a perfectionist she is, so it's easy to say that she put everything into this collection from packaging and color choices and formulas. I wore this on Snap the other day. This was a super easy makeup look to do and you guys loved it, so here we are. This is a perfect look for summer, starting to get hot out there. It's just so juicy, so peachy, so sparkly. If you guys are interested to see what this collection is all about, to see this makeup tutorial, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm just gonna apply that on my lids. I'm using this concealer today because I feel like my eyelids have been super dry. And this is a little bit more hydrating than my Tarte Shape Tape that I usually use for my eyeshadow base. So I'm just blending that all in. I'm actually not gonna set my eyeshadow base today because I don't think I did the other day when I did this makeup look and I kind of liked how it popped. I know, big surprise, me not setting my eyeshadow base. Now we're gonna go into the star of the show. I've been using this ever since I got it. It's the Perception Palette by Shayla and her collaboration with ColourPop. It's definitely been well loved by me and I just got it. I actually did a makeup look like this the other day and you guys just loved it so Super easy, this is about to be so easy. We're gonna dip into Culture and this is a beautiful transition color. I love how warm it is, just love it. And I'm using a MAC 224. Can we get a little zoom please? A little zoom, look too far. All right, tapping off my brush and just applying that into the crease. We want more of a blown out effect and if you see how pigmented this eyeshadow is, it literally does the job in two seconds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that through the crease. Next, we're gonna dip into a little bit of Revenge, and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this, same brush, and apply it in the outer part of the eye. I'm just gonna add a little bit of intensity to the outer corner, but not too much. If you have green eyes, brown eyes, I feel like these warm tones just make your eyes stand out so much. Then I just take a clean blending brush and go over all the edges to make sure we're nice and blended out. Now I'm gonna dip into Diva, and this color is so pretty. I feel like Diva and Strut and Slay and Culture are like my three favorite, favorite colors from this palette. And I love Diva because it is slightly gold, but it reflects like this really pretty peachy undertone. So I'm taking that on a flat concealer brush, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm kind of carving out the crease with this giving it a nice clean shape. It's always easier for me to apply foiled eyeshadows either with uh, my finger or a flat concealer brush. I think it picks up the pigment a lot nicer. And also if you're trying to get clean lines, a concealer brush just does the trick to really carve out the crease. And then I go back into a little bit of culture on a blending brush and just soften the edges a bit. Cause like I said, I want it to be clean but I don't want it to be like cut crease. Want it to be nice and soft, blown out. As you get to the outer corner where we applied the Revenge color, you just wanna tap the foiled shade into that, so kind of merging them together but not um, in a harsh line, just nice tapping motions. Honestly, it looks like the backdrop. Like it looks like my eyes are glowing, but it's just the eyeshadow. Now that we've laid that down, I went into TF, which is obviously the fun. I'm gonna take a little bit of that eyeshadow onto the same concealer brush. Right at the peak of where my eyeball sits in my socket, I'm gonna press this into that area just to lightly brighten it up. It's not gonna do anything super dramatic, but when the light hits, it's gonna just look more accentuated. Again, my blending brush, just soften out the edges. 
See how it just catches the light, like right in that area. It looks really pretty. Small little step, you just wanna pat it on, but it has a really nice impact on the eye look. This for like a summer party, are you kidding me? Mm. Shut it down, okay. And lastly, sometimes I like to go in with a bone color. I just like to pop it right here on the highest part of the brow bone and then whatever's left over on your brush is kind of Fade it into the edges. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. And I think I'm gonna mix two colors, 220 and a little bit of 310. Mix it up on my little mixing pad. I just like to apply my foundation sometimes with a brush and then blend it with a beauty blender because I feel like it disperses the product without soaking it up a little bit better. Now going into my concealer, I'm gonna be using my Becca Aqualuminous Concealer in Beige. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and I just like to apply this just here, like where your hollows would be because I feel like it covers really well right there. And then I'm also gonna take this and start to highlight the bridge of my nose. And then I like to do the chin, usual places. I'm using a gang of concealers but I also like to take um, the ColourPop concealer, because I feel like it has a little bit of um, golden undertones and it cancels out just this little darkness I have in the corner here. Yep, 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 yep. And then we're gonna take our beauty blender and blend it all out. I feel like it didn't really work on my outer corner, that ColourPop one. Let me try the Kim K one. It's a little bit more golden. This foundation is definitely like very, very matte. It does cover everything, but I feel like if you're dry, it might be a little tight, you know? All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out if it isn't already dry. You don't wanna let your concealer sit anywhere too long because then it dries and then you're kind of just like, oh shit. Right, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just apply that a small amount on the under eyes, on the sides of the nose, just a little bit. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. And I also like to take a little bit of Laura Mercier powder onto MAC 116, and I'm just gonna press that into the center of my forehead lightly, and then also just right here in the laugh lines. And there's something about Laura Mercier powder that just like softens pores, so I always just like pack it into my apples of my cheeks. So now we gotta put the life back into our face with some bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs bronzer and this is in 104 Tantastic. Again, like I want everything to be really, really smoked out, diffused, not super like <laughs> So I'm taking this giant hourglass brush cause it's nice and fluffy. It doesn't have a name on it. It's just like a dual ended brush. I'm gonna swirl it into the bronzer and then I'm gonna start over here swirling motions around the perimeters of my face. And I always start off with a small amount because bronzer helmet, you understand? Don't want that. Now we are gonna hit up some blush. This is one of the new Melt Cosmetics blushes and this is in the shade Sundown. I mean, it's like the perfect color. I love these types of colors because they're in between like a peach and a bronze. So if you're going for more of an overall bronzy look, it's not gonna be too blushy. It's gonna kind of just fuse with the bronzer. I'm gonna use the same brush. These blushes are really pretty because they have a slight sheen to them. So it just gives you that nice like sunny, glowy look. Sometimes I even like to hit whatever's left over on my blush brush, over my forehead and like across the nose. Let me take off this powder first under my eyes before I apply highlight. Now take a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm gonna be using the new Fix Plus with gold light. Has a little shaker in there, you shake it up. All right, so I'm gonna be taking Shayla X ColourPop Highlight and this is in the shade Bowman. This is the lighter of the two highlights in her collection and the darker, um, the darker shade is called Pose. So if you have a deeper complexion, that one would be really pretty. But this one's also really pretty for um, deep complexions too. So I'm taking a little bit on a Morphe R36 brush. I'm just gonna lightly apply this highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. So this highlight is what it says, it's definitely booming. Because it's a little bit bronzier for me, I like to go in with a light hand and just kind of fuse it with my bronzer and my blush. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that down the center of my nose, tip of the nose, a little bit on the chinny chin chin, just a little bit. So I'm going back into the Perception palette and I'm just gonna take the matte shadows that I used in the crease and apply them on the lower lash line and just nice cloudy smoke. Per use. So for that, I'm gonna be using the Morphe E36 brush, and I'm going into Culture again, which is that nice transition shade. And I'm gonna start with that on the lower lash line and build that up first. Now I'm just taking a little bit of Revenge, which is that rusty brown red color, and I'm gonna apply that just on the outer V of the eye like we did at the top, but just now on the bottom, and kind of connecting the corners together. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go ahead and mix Strut and Slay, but mostly Spill the Tea because I want that lightness, but I like the undertone of this color. We're gonna apply that in the inner tear duct here. Gives like that nice pink peachy color. Next, I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil, and this is in Bourbon, and I'm lightly just applying that really close to the lash line. Not a wing or anything, just along the lashes. This is good to hide like your lash band and also just make your lashes look a little thicker. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline X Shayla Big Shot Mascara in Blackest Black, or Baddest Black, sorry. And I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes with this to prep my lashes for the falsies. For falsies, I'm gonna be using my Iconic Light Lashes. I just love these, especially for a daytime look. They're so fluttery, pretty, and I've already worn these, so I feel like they're primed for my eyeball. They're ready to go. Instant drama for your mama. Now that lashes are on, I'm gonna do my lower mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play. I'm just gonna lightly apply that. For my lips, I'm gonna do a mixture of Ooh and Quickie, and then of course, I'm gonna use the lip gloss, which is Neat Freak, and this lip gloss is super pretty. First, I'm going into Ooh. And then on top of that, more towards the center, I'm gonna be using Quickie, which is a really nice light nude. Really pop it in the center there. Mm, mm, mm. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use Neat Freak, which is a peachy champagne lip gloss, and it has shimmer, it's really pretty. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I feel like it's perfect for summer. I love this Shayla X ColourPop collection. It's one of my favorite collections. So make sure you guys get your hands on it because it went out of stock the first time. It's back on sale on the 11th and this that might be today, so make sure you guys check it out. Congratulations, Shayla, I love the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye. I'm ready. Mm. Oh my god. It's okay, it's a tiny little spot. Do, do, do. Whew. Guys, that stressed me out for a second. Uh, moving on. Moving on.